Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Now, we started off this YouTube channel by Dividend Investing. Now, dividends are companies that you invest into that pay back their investors in the form of dividends, either monthly, quarterly, biannually, or yearly, just from holding shares of their company, they're paying back their investors in the form of dividends as a way to say thank you. It is the most passive form of income that I have because you literally just invest into good quality stocks, and then you get paid every single month or every single quarter by doing absolutely nothing. I'm telling you, sometimes I'm sleeping and I get paid out dividends and it pops up on my phone, guys. So we've been doing a really good job at dividend investing. Now, there's one drawback to dividend investing. Now, really good growth companies, for example, like Apple, these companies have been growing um, at a fast rate over the last five years, but their dividend payments are fairly low. Some of them are actually under a full percent, just maybe a half percent. So you're not getting paid out much dividends, but you are getting more value in that company from the stocks growing over time, but you're not getting that passive income in the form of dividends. And the other dividends are dividend companies that have a high dividend yield. I'm talking about six, 7%, and they pay out every single month. But those companies are not growth stocks. They, you'll be lucky if they trade sideways or gain a percent every quarter or so. But for the most part, these companies aren't growth stock and their stock is not gonna double over the next five years or so, but you are getting a big lump sum of dividends from these um, high dividend companies. Their stock is just not gonna grow. Now, what if I tell you in this video, we found the way to work around the drawbacks of both of these situation guys, from the low dividends from big growth stocks to the high dividend um, payments, but it trades sideways. And we're gonna do that in the form of swing trading. Swing trading is a style of trading that attempts to capture short to medium term gains in a stock over a period of a few days to several weeks. Swing traders primarily use technical analysis to look for good trading opportunities. So basically what that says is that we're gonna look for a technical analysis, the RSI, which is tell us that a stock is oversold. That means it's been pulling back for quite some time now. And when the stock is pulling back, we're gonna buy the dip. That is what it's called. We're gonna buy the dip of that good quality stock. And since the quality stock is probably gonna have a low dividend, but we're gonna ride that wave right on back up over the next month, two, three months or so. And we're gonna get that nice gains from a growth company. And while we're getting those nice gains, we're gonna also get dividend payments from that growth company. So we're gonna exponentiate our gains from holding these low dividend paying stocks by swing trading these great companies that had a pullback over the last two or three months or so. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to find these stocks. It's really, really simple. I'm gonna show you how to find it in this video. But before we dive into that, this video is brought to you by Webull. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit $100, and now you can receive up to $2,400 in stocks. With those two free stocks, you can keep them inside the platform and decide to use it or you can sell those two free stocks and withdraw all of your money it's literally free money guys do not miss out on that opportunity also there's a link in the description to moo moo right now if you sign up deposit 100 dollars you'll receive a free stock of lucid just from signing up i think that is like a 25 dollars stock get the free money guys both of those links are down in the description but enough talking let's go ahead and dive straight into this video Welcome back, Germans. Here we are inside of Weeble. Now, to get to the screener, we want to click the watch list at the bottom left right there, the heart, and then just hit the search button at the top. We're going to hit search, and then right there, it says crypto screeners, top gainers calendar. We're going to click screeners. Then we're going to screen the entire U.S. stock market for the certain parameters that we're going to set in place. Now, we're going to create a new screener. We're going to search the United States. And we're gonna hit market cap and we're gonna look for companies over $1 billion. So that eliminates all of the penny stock companies, all of the $500 million market cap stock companies, companies that aren't gonna be as big. We're not looking for penny stocks, we're looking for good, stable, big, large companies. So we're gonna go from 1 billion all the way up to uh, $2,477 billion. Hit done. Now we're gonna scroll down to dividends. We're looking for anything over a 0.5 dividend. Like I said, um, good quality stocks is gonna have um, dividends around 0.5% all the way up to, let's say 11%. Hit done. 
and let's scroll down the one now this is the technical indicator that i was talking about at the beginning of this video they have um, the golden cross the kdj oversold the rs16 oversold so we're looking for the rsi 16 oversold we're going to click that right there so before we click that um there's 1123 companies but once we hit the RSI oversold, that now it's only showing us 32 companies that had a major pullback over the next, over the last month or two or so. Okay, guys. And then we're gonna go down and then we're gonna click view results. Okay, right now it's in alphabetical order, but let's organize it by market cap. And there we go at the top. Let me show you guys what I mean by it's oversold or they had a pullback. Pfizer's at the top, they have a dividend yield of 1.56%. Let's click on Pfizer. And there you go, guys. Over the last, let's click three months. Over the last three months, it had a major pullback. It was all the way up to, it was all the way up to $52.28. And now it's all the way down to $41.49. So that is what I mean by they had a major pullback. Now, if you pull, now if we look at the year chart, um, it's looking like it's coming to some kind of support. And if we get in at 41.49 and swing trade it all the way back up to $50 over the next couple of months or so, we're going to be collecting dividends and also swing trading Pfizer back up to its um, previous all time high. Um, you could wait until the pullback a little bit more if you would like to, but I think Pfizer is a decent quality stock to invest into to hold long term. Another one, let's take a look at Kroger's. Everyone should know what Kroger's is. Well, I'm from Texas, so everyone from Texas know what Kroger's is. Once again, you guys can see that big pullback. Um, it was at one point at $47.47, and now it is at $38.59. So that is another major pullback on a good quality company that pays dividends. And if we look at the MACD right here, it's looking like it won a crossover on the MACD fairly soon. So, so as you could tell, Kroger's had a big drop off after the earnings report a couple of days ago and it started to pull back. So we could be patient on it, wait for it to hit a bottom, buy that, buy Kroger's and then swing trade it right, right on back up to the top of around $47. Now we'll be making percent gains of like 20% by swing trading these. That's more, way more than, than you will be receiving in dividends because Kroger's only have a 0.84 dividend yield. And let's look at one more. Let's look at, okay, so let's take a look at uh, Domino's Pizza, DPZ. Um, over the last three months, it did have a pullback. It's down 6% over the last three months. Um, Domino's Pizza is fairly a good stock to get into. You could buy it right now while it's pulling back. Or you, or you could wait for it to pull back some more. It's at $454 right now. I think it had an all-time high of around, let's see, um, $541. So you could swing trade that back up a couple of percent if you guys would like to get in on that right now or you could just wait continue look at your market analysis and decide on when to get in on these stocks so that is how i find good quality companies that don't have the best dividends but i could swing trade them back up to the top cheat code the system and uh, get those growth from these growth stocks and also get the dividends while i'm swing trading it back up to the top to maximize my returns and there we go dreamers um let me know what you think about the strategy down in the comment section are you a day trader are you a swing trader or do you just buy and hold and never sell let me know what kind of trader you are in the comment section do you just buy dividend stocks and dividend stocks only that have high dividend yields regardless of the quality of that stock just to collect those dividends let me know how that's working out for you down in the comment section i'll be sure to <laughs> reply if you are down there just killing it inside the stock market but other than that guys don't forget to pick up your two free stocks from weeble pick up your one free stock from moo moo um that's free money guys i'm telling you it's free money get it while you can because it's going to change um over time so make sure that you're picking up your free stocks but other than that guys you made it to the end of this video hit that thumbs up button subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell that helps me out more than you can even imagine but that's all i have to give you guys in this video I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.